Oh, excuse me. Hello. All right. Um. Well, morning, everybody. Uh, it's cast time once again, and uh. And uh, this time around, this time I'm kind of early with this one. It's just I'm beginning to, I'm starting to nod off. This is one of my uh, nappy nappy nights. Um, I've already had to take two naps already. So and then it looks like I'm heading for a third one. Why I'm like this today, I don't know. But um, but anyway, let me uh, go ahead and intro the music here. This is gonna be another one from Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. Um, it's uh, it's called the Collapse. Uh, it's, and as it shows here, it's a dark ambient music. So let me go ahead and get this going. <clears throat> okay, so um, to start with, I um. But anyway, um, I kind of messed this up already. Hold on. Okay. But anyway, um, just playing, just been playing a lot of Gems of War, um, and um, one of the one of the reasons why is because I kind of messed up, um, the way uh the way guilds work in this game. Is uh, at least in this one here, there's a cert there's certain expectations like towards the bottom here, you have to attain at least four. You have to contribute at least four four hundred thousand gold, fifteen hundred seals. You know, with me, it, it's not that hard to not that hard for me to do. Uh, but one thing I did screw up on is uh, this morning was the uh, weekly reset, and last night I had about a million gold. And I just went ahead and donated all of it, totally forgetting that this morning was the reset. So. Come on, click. So, I now have to start over from scratch. Oops. Whereas, you know, maybe I should have saved that one million gold that I had. Then, you know, after the reset, then spent it. But, whoopsie. I guess what I could go ahead and do since I got 164,000 and this is how you contribute. Okay. So, but anyway, so I've been playing, just been playing a lot of Gems of War. Um, again, mostly because I screwed up. So now I'm trying to, trying to make up for lost time. If that makes any sense at all. Enough of that. So, like I said, just having to play catch up. Um, another thing I did do last night, last night slash this morning, is um, I started uh, I started watching a documentary. And hold on, already I messed that one up. All right, let me go back to my folder. Off to a bad start. Okay, anyway, I watched a documentary about uh, Norwegian black metal. It's uh, my favorite kind of black metal. Or my favorite kind of metal, excuse me. Um, it's just, I mean, to me, they kind of, they are to the metal, or, they are to the music world what hip hop is to their is to is to theirs. Like they actually live the lifestyle. I mean, because they're um, I know they're um, a lot, some of them are like burning churches, you know, and they're yeah, they actually were you know they actually were living the satanic lifestyle. In fact, I remember one one little part of that documentary is uh, they they actually had a record store. They opened a record store. Totally devoted to nothing but satanic music, and um, the name of the store is called Hell. Yeah, H E L L, Hell. So, so yeah, they're pretty core. They're pretty hardcore. Like, I mean, like, I mean, like I said, uh, Norwegian black metal is like hip hop. They're, 
they live the lifestyle. And it, it ain't like it ain't like here in America. You know, it you know, they're basically just playing, you know, they're just playing the metal cuz it sounds good or cuz they're just you know, they just want to give the world the middle finger, that kind of thing just being anti, you know, you know, they're, they they might say they're anti-Christian, but I mean, hell, I I'd say I'm anti-Christian too, but I'm I'm not a devil worshiper either. I, I guess I'm kind of in limbo, but you kind you kind of get the idea. I mean, I'm not a devil worshiper, but yet, you know, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a religious person anyway. So, but but uh, to get back on to get back on track though, um, it, but uh, you know, here in America, I mean, satanic music is just mostly for just mere shock value. You know, they're just, um, or just another way to pay the bills. You know, if, if it's, if satanic music is what, what people are listening to at the time, if it's, you know, they got to go where the money's at, so. Whereas, uh, in Norway, it, the culture is totally different. Uh, I actually, now that I remember, I, I wish I knew the name of the book I read. But it was about the uh, it was about the history of metal, but um, according to that, religion was actually forced on them over in Norway. You either had to convert to Christianity, or you'd be branded a heretic, and they'd they'd hang you by your fingernails or whatever, burn you at the stake or whatnot. You know, so I guess the uh, the Norwegians they kind of discovered what uh what was going on in uh, America or United States and the UK with the metal the metal music going on there and they're like, "Huh, we could do that." And so they well, so they got so they kind of came up with their own their kind of their own their own brand of metal, but again, like I said, um Christianity was forced on them. You know, they had to be they had to become Christians against their will. So But um Aside from that, though, I don't, I still gotta, I still gotta remember, um, I keep forgetting to figure out what year this documentary came out, though. It, 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 it the sucker looks old. Like, I'd probably say 80s and 90s old. You know, because, uh, in this one here, it's like a lot of the, a lot of the big movers and shakers in the uh, Norwegian black metal world, they're all like teenagers in this film. I'm like, damn, that's, Sucker must be super old. But uh, one big drawback, though, uh, before I forget again, the 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 girl on there that does the narration, she's very annoying. She just sounds like she is reading up a script, just totally flat. Just just wants to read the stuff and get it out of there. She's like totally efficient about it. Blah 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 blah. You know, it just it got it got really nerve wracking. So, um. I'll try to keep watching it because again this is my favorite kind of metal right here you know and no I'm not a devil worshiper or anything like that but one to me the music just sounds cool as hell you know and then and then secondly again these these guys ain't fucking around like they the majority of them legit worship Satan you know so like like I said they, you know sorry to sound like a broken record but I mean they're like hip-hop they're it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle over in Norway. It isn't just, you know, it's just, it isn't just a, you know, a way of making cool music and stuff like that, or, you know, making fucking music that people can fucking rock out to, you know, that kind of thing. No, no. I mean, Norway, it's a life. So. Yeah, there was... I think there was something else I was wanting to say too. Oh, and that um, they were actually showing music videos too, and uh, these and again these suckers were old, but a lot of it too is I'm not a, I'm not, I mean I had my heyday back in MTV, where I was actually like watching a lot of it, cause you know but I mean back then though back in the 80s they actually were playing music videos, you know they weren't branching out into all these other shows and whatnot. But I, uh, you know, but, but these days I don't, I don't really do the music video thing anymore. It, it's hard. I just, I would rather just, 
just listen to the music now. But I've I've done that from time to time. Like I'll like I'll I'll, I'll uh, you know back when I was, when I first started streaming and I was playing vinyl records. There was like some you know something would come up on my YouTube recommendations, like a music video of some of some group that I that I have on vinyl. I'll try watching that video, but after a while, it just uh, uh, I I can't do it. Okay, but anyway, um, but, well, unexpectedly, this turned into another short one, um, but like, like I said, I haven't, like, either, either I was laying down for a nap, or I was playing Gems of War and then watching the documentary, so not a really whole lot of stuff has been going on, I hate these kind of days because they're basically unproductive, you know, if I, uh, and if I hadn't have screwed up and like um, contribute, you know, contributed all that money I had to the guild shortly before the actual reset, you know, I probably wouldn't have been forced to spend all night trying to get, trying to, you know, trying to scrounge together some money to kind of, kind of um, compensate for lack of a better word. You know, and here, here is here, here as it is now. I'm already starting to get groggy, so it looks like a third nap's gonna be on the way, which is really gonna screw up my uh, my sleep period. Oh, I totally forgot something. I totally forgot to mention something too. Um, as far as the um, I was expecting a visit from the landlady yesterday, to you know to get her yay or nay on my living room after I moved the furniture out of the way so they can, I can you know had a clear path from the front my front door to the patio door. Um, I haven't heard from her. Like, I figured she would either call or visit or something, but nothing. So, I don't... So, I'm guessing the jury's still out on that or something. So I guess, um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So, but, anyway, um, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say. So, so, yeah, um, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, so hopefully I'll be in a I'll be in a better frame of mind. So, but but anyway, um, until next time, everybody, take care.